Welcome to the video. We're going to look at Scalar and how we can use it with other software to maybe enhance your experience. So we know Scalar is easy to use, fast to use. It's easy for new users. Um, but how can we take it further and maybe go beyond its current capabilities? Well, we know that we can come up with any kind of quick uh, chord ideas and we can do some editing but we do wish I think at least I do um, when you want to build a bigger composition inside of something scalar where you retain the dynamic chord capabilities meaning that you know your chord track will change any MIDI tracks beneath it in real time dynamically um, but you run into some concerns because you First of all, you want to rename your tracks. You would like to color code your, your tracks, have an arranger track maybe, be able to actually zoom in in a real way, not just the interface zooming in a, a large way, but to zoom in uh, with resolution so you get more information, more chords on screen inside your editor. Um, these are things that I'm sure they're working on and it's just a matter of time. But we do really love the interface, how fast it is to sketch out ideas. But I, in this video, I'm just saying, well, what if you could use something like Rapid Composer? And I've got an older Rapid Composer here. They have a newer version with more features. But what if you could just drag your ideas from Scalar right into Rapid Composer and just continue working in a higher resolution workspace with an arranger track, with color coding and naming, and all the extra phrases and patterns that come with uh, Rapid Composer. All the generators which give you endless ARPs and endless uh, ostinatos and different ideas for melodies and dyad uh, run generation, finger picking and okay on and on. So what if you could do that? Let's see if how easy it would be to do it or hard. So you can take uh, your chord progression that you create and customize inside of Scalar and it appears that you can just take that and drag it onto the chord track inside of Rapid Composer and you get the same thing. I just resize this to fit and yeah it turns out you can do that. Now it looks different because Rapid Composer um, has its own color system. So it uses color to enhance and give you more information just by a quick glance. And that's why you can change and reshape your uh, tracks and recolor them to whatever you need. In this case, purple, or you could go, you know, more in the blue. So that's just a couple things that help right off the bat there. And it's resizable. And the information is, um, you get, it has a zoom, but it, that zoom gives you more resolution as you zoom in. So very handy. If you lose where you are on the register, you can just double click and it takes you back to middle C where this little green stripe. And then you can zoom your whole track out and you can add as many tracks and as many uh, on your uh, arranger track, you can have as many different colors and names and you can cut it up so your verse and your chorus and your endings are all you can see where they are and they're color coded. All right another thing you can do is that you can drag in so you can create uh, let's say a chord follow track in Scalar. You can use all its features and drag it right in. So if I add another track into Rapid Composer I can just quickly take any mm -hmm. idea from that scalar original idea and drag that uh, those ideas also into Rapid Composer. And if you notice, it imports uh, in the same way into the Rapid Composer system, but and it will update. It has a live chord track just like Scalar. But in Scalar, we know now if we do make an edit, everything goes red and it's no longer live updating to its. <clears throat> excuse me, dynamic chord system. But it doesn't do that when you edit something inside of Rapid Composer. It stays editable, and so you can always double-click, and you can rescale it, 
to show it in its dedicated editor and you also have a nice editor for all the um, velocity and you can paint velocity and change it with different tools so you could do a ramp and different operations so and this too is all scalable with resolution so you can fill up your whole entire screen with how uh, RC works so then you can go up to the timeline here double click and it will automatically zoom in and out you can make your changes according to whatever chord you, uh, you're in so you'll never make a mistake because you know these highlighted bars here you can just take a note and you can drag it up and move it around and then you can update apply changes to and it applies it to your composition so if we turn on some of the trays where it has all its different generators and thousands of different patterns and ideas for uh, chords and if you click open any tray you get multiple secondary trays with endless amounts of chord ideas and um, it's just kind of an endless uh, music system for ideas and sketching and over here if we zoom up to generators and you can see all the patterns available and zoom back in and each one of these generators if I was to resume the interface here to the full size again and this time uh, I should say the uh, timeline up here if you hold down control you can just zoom it and you can add to it as much as you want and has all the features of everything else you know in like a DAW where your grid snap and all that and you can change your master scales up here so it's really kind of a dynamic system where it zooms in and out and lets you work in a in a on a bigger composition type of idea but yes again when you edit something that doesn't go red you continue you can continue to edit and you can add tracks and I should say that without spending three or four hours explaining Rapid Composer, which in reality would probably take about 20 hours of videos. But you can just grab a generator like an ostinato, bring that in, and it adheres to whatever the core track's doing. You can turn on, in this case, a dedicated track for uh, voice leading. We know in Scalar we can do voice leading, and it has options up here and it has a certain amount of options for changing uh, your MIDI and editing your MIDI but you do get more of that in uh, Rapid Composer um, as an example in your dedicated voice leading you could you can do it manually and do inversions and things like that or you can have it done automatically with all kinds of options to quickly instantly change it first inversion second inversion third inversion um, any kind of harmony it just has a lot in it i'm not going to explain or try to explain at all but also with these generators they're live so when you select one let's say we just select this one then if you go and right click you're given an interface which you can um, edit any part of it so you're not just given a pattern but you're giving an endless amount of patterns that you can reconfigure on the fly and change according to uh, many different options and then you can have it auto apply and it just changes everything on the fly you can go in and you can edit and zoom in to any note and any velocity and just update it and you have these big workspaces to do it and you have a dedicated melody editor if you buy the rapid composer full package a midi mutator which if you do take any midi from any source just drag it in and it will give you um, just tons of variation so if you're working on a course and you have a pattern but you want 
20 different versions of that pattern that vary in any, a number of musical ways according to any musical ideas. You can just endlessly mutate according to musical rules to give you the same basic uh, pattern and idea, but mutate it so you could quickly create a bridge or a slightly different course. And so you have things like that. You, have, you can go in depth and really it's, you, you know a, a program is pretty deep when it's manual is hundreds of pages and it does have support and a online manual of hundreds of pages trying to explain this. But I wanted to show how easy it is to sketch and scalar in an interface that is modern and fun and effective to use, but still growing. And then if you want to take it to the next level where you have a bigger interface, dedicated editors for every part of what you're doing, everything's color coded. You can rename everything and arrange your track, have generators plus tons and tons of, uh, general presets. The ability to continue to edit any clip and still have it adhere to your rules up here on your tracks up here according to your uh, voice leading and your core track. So yeah just a quick video or maybe not so quick but to show you how yeah you can take your ideas and sketch and that's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to sketch inside Scalar, throw all that those ideas inside Rapid Composer build it even bigger, get everything really fine-tuned in the bigger composition, and then maybe drag everything into the DAW or just um, play, play it from Rapid Composer or whatever. So that's the video today. I do hope you're able to make uh, music wherever you are in this world, and we'll see you on the next video.